Today on the Taste of Lizzie Tea Show, I'm gonna be showing you how to make homemade apple butter. This is a classic fall recipe, and I'm gonna show you how to get it started in the morning, let it simmer in the crock pot all day, and you are gonna love eating this on so many different things. Let me show you how easy it is to do. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take about six and a half pounds of apples. I like to use just about really any type of apple that you buy at the store is gonna be good for this. You can use wine sap, Macintosh. These are pink lady apples. So it really just depends on if you like a sweet apple or a little bit of tartness to the apple. Know that Granny Smith are very tart apples if you choose those. You can see I have my handy apple peeler, slicer, and corer here. So I'm just gonna run these apples through and get them taken care of quickly that way. This recipe makes several cups of apple butter. It's not a ton, but it's enough that you could give some away for a gift. It also freezes really well, but you can easily make half of a recipe of this apple butter if you'd like also. So what's the difference between apple butter and applesauce? Well, when we make applesauce from scratch, we take apples and we throw them in some boiling water so that they soften just a little bit. And then we put them through a grinder and we get applesauce. It puts all the peels and cores on one side and all the sauce on another side. It's an amazing little tool. And that's all we do for applesauce. We don't add any sugar, we don't add any cinnamon, and it's a pretty, it's not runny. Homemade applesauce is actually pretty thick, but apple butter on the other hand, you add sugar, you add cinnamon, you add vanilla if you'd like, and you let it simmer and cook for quite a while, all day long in the slow cooker, and it gets really, really thick, almost like a apple jam. So you can use it like you use um, jam or jelly. Get these last couple apples through. we like it really smooth. So we take off as much peel as possible. So you're gonna go through all of the apples that you just did, take off any peel that you want off that got left on there, and then I just make one cut so you have half slices. And then put them all in a bowl. Okay, so now it's time to mix together the ingredients for the apple butter. You're gonna add half of a cup of granulated sugar and half of a cup of brown sugar. Now you can adjust this if you'd like. You can add less sugar. If you bought really sweet apples, if you would like all brown sugar in there, go ahead and put all brown sugar. You can even try dark brown sugar. It's amazing and gives it a really deep flavor. A fourth of a teaspoon salt, one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon, and again, adjust this if you'd like a little bit more or a little bit less, and then one tablespoon of vanilla. And then I'm gonna take my spoon and mix that up a little bit. We find it's easiest to make our apple butter in the slow cooker, because I can put it in. I know it'll be set to a steady temperature all day long. It makes your house smell amazing. My kids come home and say, what smells like apple pie? So let's get our slow cooker. And we're just gonna add our apples to it. And then all you'll do is you will cover it, set your slow cooker to low, and let it sit for about 10 hours. You can put it on high. I tend to adjust a little bit. If I know I need to have it done in about six hours, I will adjust it and put it on high for a few hours, then turn it down low. So you can play with that a little bit if you need to, but in general, let it slow cook on low for about 10 hours. So I have had this apple butter simmering all day long in the slow cooker. As you can see inside, it gets really brown. The apples really cook down into that classic apple butter look that you are used to seeing if you've ever bought it at the store. So a few times while it's cooking in the daytime, I would just recommend just stirring it a couple of times just to make sure all of the cinnamon and vanilla is getting 
mixed up and into all of the apples. So you don't have to stress about it, but just a couple of times throughout the day, just give it a good stir. So some people like to leave their apple butter a little bit chunky. We like to blend it smooth. So let me show you how to do that. If you have an immersion blender, then you're gonna take it and you're gonna stick it right into the crock pot. You're gonna turn it on low and you're just gonna blend that together. If you're having too much trouble with it splattering, you can always put it in a deeper bowl and that will help it not to splatter quite so much. Once it's as smooth as you would like it, it's time to allow it to cool. And at this point, you can either store it in an airtight container in the refrigerator. It will keep for about two weeks. You'll wanna let it cool some first. Or you can freeze it, and it will freeze for a couple of months, and it's delicious. Just pull it out, allow it to defrost, and serve it just as you would any other time. So how do you like to eat apple butter? Well, you can eat it over pancakes. It's fantastic drizzled over pancakes. You can eat it over biscuits, fresh hot biscuits from the oven with a little apple butter rubbed on. Delicious. If you're making homemade cinnamon rolls, spread some apple butter in the middle before you roll them up. It's one of our favorite fall breakfasts. One of my favorite ways to serve apple butter is drizzled over ice cream. Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and drizzle this over the top. Mm, it's like apple pie, but not quite. Oh, I need a spoon. Awesome. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and remember to stop back for more delicious recipe videos.